Uh, Deborah Martin has been in this community, I don't know how many years, but going way back to when we were in our early 20s, okay? <laughs> so, and she was immediately, she was the first person I thought to call when, when we came to, to Palm Beach, and she was the first person that signed on and has largely been responsible for making this organization thrive in this community. So Deborah, would you come and share some of your experiences? Uh, I always prefer long-time friend to old friend, but that's okay. <laughs> well, when Jennifer called me, um, we're thinking 15, 16 years ago, uh, I was already involved in the public schools volunteering. And I said, do I really have time to take on one more project? But then she said, it will only take an hour or two a month. And I said, really? I said, how can I make a difference with, it, uh, with an hour or two? then I realized that would be an hour or two more of attention that these girls otherwise would have gotten. So I started 15, 16 years ago, and I mentored in several schools in Palm Beach County, but I focused most of my attention on Glade Central in Belle Glade. And for those of you who are not familiar, Belle Glade and Pahokee, we have the school coordinator from Pahokee here as well, are the most western communities in Palm Beach County. And in fact, when my girls take a field trip here to West Palm Beach, they say to their friends, we're going to the coast. Now, <laughs> but for all of you who are new mentors, I just want to encourage you and say it really is a very simple program. Basically, you're there to help the girls learn to help themselves and to help others. Um, you teach uh, life skills, you talk with them about problems in their school, in their homes, um, uh, you help them with college applications and filling out the scholarship forms, which can be pretty overwhelming. And you also fo uh, you expose them to different career choices. And speaking of which, I'll give you an example. I have said to my girls in the past, when you become President of the United States, you are going to need a firm handshake. So we actually take turns working on handshakes, looking at the other person directly in the eye. And I say, when you are hosting state dinners at the White House, you will need to know which fork to start with. So I've actually brought in place settings, told them where their butter dish is. Um, so these girls have they're great girls, and they have great potential. And all they need is someone who will take the time to give them confidence, make them feel special, make them realize that they can do it. So uh, all you need is to give the time to make the difference in one of these, or all of these girls' lives. So good luck to all of you for this year, and uh, rest assured that you will be making a difference in their life. And speaking of making a difference, we have one of our success stories here, Debbie Maniget, who has quite, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> she was, you were standing there, I can't even see in this. Yes, you, I knew you were over there when I walked up here. Um, Debbie has quite a resume, and I was just quickly given some of the highlights, but I hope she will go ahead and tell, she's a graduate, magna cum laude, is that right, from Howard University? She was a mentee and is now mentoring at Delray Beach High School, and you are, are you, or you're still working towards a clinical therapy degree, or is that? For your doctorate. For your doctorate, okay, well Debbie. Thank Congratulations. You. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the kind words and introduction. And thank you to Jennifer Vallapi. I would not be here without you, and you know I've shared that with you many, many times. Um, you have heard from Jennifer Vallapi. She says that important, permanent, lasting change. How incredible is that? That's the change that you can make. And it only takes you. It only takes one hour. It only takes once a month. <laughs> Each school year, it only takes you for over 15,000 at-risk high school girls to achieve their dreams of becoming educated, powerful, and successful women of tomorrow. 
I graduated as a Women of Tomorrow mentee from Dillard High School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so that's Broward County, and now I'm a mentor at Village Academy in Delray Beach, right here with all of you in Palm Beach County. Yet the journey in between, I always, uh, sometimes when I reflect on, um, makes me think just how powerful someone like you were in my life to not only see something greater in me, but also to help me see something greater in myself. After graduating with honors, I'll share, from Dillard High School, I went on, like she said, to Howard University, um, and I studied communications. Um, there, I also had the opportunity to win the $5,000 Women of Tomorrow Scholarship, and this was the highest level. So today, I am so excited to share with you Women of Tomorrow covers room, board, books, and even full tuition for some of their mentees. Yes, yes. And I love how my story kind of comes full circle with Women of Tomorrow, because the summer of my senior year after high school, I actually had the opportunity through the Emma Bowen Foundation to have a fellowship at NBC6. So imagine my joy as a high school student finishing the Women of Tomorrow program, and then I get to work with Jennifer Vellapi every night on the news as she anchored. It was such an incredible experience for me, for me, and I learned so much from her. After I had my time at Howard University, I actually returned home to South Florida, and that's where I had what I call my career versus my calling journey. That is where my mother confided in me that she was having suicidal thoughts, trouble with, excuse me. Her mental illness, little did we know growing up, really affected not only her socially emotionally, but also her parenting, which Growing up, you're thinking, oh, you know, it's just a fun, cool mom. And now that I'm an adult, oh, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so to make a long story short, I wanted to do something more to not only help my mom, but to also help other families who are struggling with mental health stigma or myths or just miseducation. So I went to school at Palm Beach Atlantic University for my master's in mental health and marriage and family therapy. And presently, I work for the Children's Services Council of Palm Beach County. I serve as a program specialist overseeing their infant mental health and touch points initiatives. And um, I haven't stopped ever since advocating for mental health awareness in diverse communities. And due to my advocacy work, I had the opportunity to be invited and also attend the Making Healthcare Better series on suicide prevention at the White House under President Obama. It was such an amazing experience. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, and that also, I, I say, wouldn't have happened without Women of Tomorrow. They supported me along that journey as well. And now, um, as I shared with Deb before she left, that I now am at Nova Southeastern University for my doctorate. And again, it's all because of one, one mentor, just like you in this room, who poured into my life, who didn't take for granted that one hour to show up and teach me career readiness skills, college preparedness, what it means to truly be a woman of integrity. So I thank you to the women of tomorrow. I thank you to all of you who are here tonight and I hope that you will continue to make the commitment to the young ladies here in Palm Beach County. Thank you.